when we took it to the old Vic, you know, there's no better Coles to Newcastle case than that. Yeah, Mikado, yeah. Gilbert and Sullivan. Going back to England. Yes. Hello. From the provinces. The Canadians. <laughs> That's right. Right, the colonies. Yeah. So we're there for opening night. It's the old Vic. Princess Anne is there that night. So the whole place has to be swept for bombs. So there's these German shepherds going through sniffer dogs. Was it the IRA this time? Oh, going yeah. To blow things up, right? Oh, just... Not the Taliban, not Al-Qaeda, but no, the IRA. Good old IRA, yeah. <laughs> so we go through this, and I'm really nervous. Because I'm going, just, this is not, this is not a Canadian playwright, I said. <laughs> this is, we're coming to their turf, bringing their peace back to them. I was nervous. Eric, who was originally from England, he said, I feel like I'm home. Christine James, who did a, a marvelous Café Chant, absolutely marvelous. She said, I'm home too. And they just, they were centered. Mm -hmm. They were back on home turf in some strange sort of way. I wasn't. You know, I was just a little French-Canadian adopted boy in, in, in England. So I'm uh, on that stage. The last we got at Canada, I didn't get a one. I didn't get one. I said, oh, there's something wrong here. And I, there's a lesson to be learned this. I'm just trying to, I'll get to it eventually, sorry. But um, I was dying, dying. Now, Eric and Christine were just, they were soaring. I'd never seen them do better. But they had a confidence and a land, a grace that, um, it, it was like being home for them. I think we, we started seeing the reviews, you know, they referred to us as the prairie-fed, prairie-fed provincialists. Um, as Christine and Eric, I think, did really, really well. There were like 40 reviewers there for the first night. And two weeks later, there are going to be 40 more coming from uh, Europe. And I said, what's wrong here? Why, why didn't it work? Because we had Jaguar as our sponsor. So uh, out there was a sea of penguins, and Princess Anne was there, and Scotland Yard was there. And we had a fleet of Jaguars take us to the uh, Savoy afterwards. And it was a whole Japanese theme. They were serving sushi, and it was like, I'd never seen such opulence before in my life. But I knew something hadn't worked. And I said, what is it? This is, it feels terrible. Because we didn't connect, I, I didn't connect with them. And I said, what's the element that's missing? What is it? What is it? Because it worked there. We went all over Canada. We went all over the States. We went on Broadway. And it worked. And it's not working here. And I said, you know what it is? It just kind of went, a little light went on. It goes, Confidence. The Brits demand confidence. It demanded that we believe in ourselves. Christine and Eric did, because right. they knew that that's what they needed. It was just, it's something in them. They said, we're home, this is what we have to do. You mean they put on confidence like a veneer? Or they no, they, they, they just, they could, they could truly be confident, because they, they came from that soil. Right. I can't describe it any better than that, but I knew I wasn't. So over the next two weeks, each night I said to myself, well, if I don't have confidence, I have to manufacture it. I have to act it. So my acting job was not to worry about Pooh Bah, but was to find the spirit inside myself to say, okay, I'm going to put on British confidence. And each night it got stronger and stronger. And I said, okay, that was the acting task. And then by the end of the second week, the, it, we were back. And the rest of the four weeks were just... We had the show back, and it was exactly the same, same show, and that was the element that was missing. Confidence. Manufactured confidence. Okay, that is incredible. What is it? How do you manufacture confidence? Well, it's, it's, how do you act? I have no idea. That's what you, you, you act. You, you be. You try to pretend. You pretend to be something that you're not. Reverse. Louder, stronger voice, more definite gestures. You know, it's all internal. Nothing changed except that. It was an attitudinal change, if that makes any sense. But this is what you did with John Hirsch, too, which I could not do. Look him in the eye and say, thank you, John. I'll work on it. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. I did not have that inside. Well, you, you had other things. There were other aspects of your nature that you went to. There was, you know, some, sometimes it's survival. No, in, in terms of John Hirsch, I just crumbled. Mm. I crumbled. I was part, and, it, and I couldn't fix it in the run because I didn't have the pieces in me because I was all apart. I didn't have the pieces to put it back together, and I just had to go away and sort of... I mean, I did go to Martha and Douglas Ray and said, help, and they said, no, it's crazy. Yeah. Don't listen, but, but you had that, so you have this... Well, it's just is it when you pick up the paintbrush? 
that it goes on the painting? It's that confidence inside you? It's not confidence there either. It's just more of joy. It's another connective. It's You use different things for different medium, different ways or different situations. <coughs> that took a lot of the feeling as you had with John is exactly what I had too for years. And I think it's part of me inside. I just said, I've had enough. I've had enough of this. I don't. Is that stubbornness? Is that anger? Is that. It's anger. It's anger. It's also a sense of. I've always believed that. I don't think one actor is greater than another actor. And I was talking to the young actor last night about this. And they thought it was, you know, it was BS that I was saying. But I know I believe in it. I said, you know. We're sitting here right now. You know how long it took me to get to the point where I believe actors are equal? It's taken me a lifetime. And that to me is the most important thing, that we're all equal. We have different abilities. Mm -hmm. You know, we have different aspects of our nature that may apply better to different situations than someone else. But we all have that, that equality of nature. That does fit with the piece that I've always felt you cannot teach acting. It is unteachable. Yeah. It happens or it doesn't. You can arrange what's around it, better this, better that, yeah. whatever. You cannot teach inside that. So you're speaking about that thing inside to then f let yourself communicate to another being. Exactly. Yeah. And we're always fine-tuning things about our nature. Yeah. You know, experience does a lot of that for us, but we're always searching for those things that give us a more direct connection to the character we're playing, always. A better understanding usually, a better emotional connection is what I look for, or, or to clear the path for your tu intuition to become the character's intuition. That's what I keep thinking we're doing. And I'll strive for equality. I don't expect to be more, I don't expect to be less, but I do expect to be equal. <laughs>